Roberto Clemente was born August 18, 1934, in Carolina, Puerto Rico. He began his professional baseball career right out of high school and made his major league debut with the Pittsburgh Pirates in 1955. Clemente went on to establish himself as one of the best players in baseball. He played his finest season in 1966 with a career-best 29 home runs and 119 RBI to win the National League's most valuable player. Off the field, Clemente was described as a quiet gentleman, proud of his Puerto Rican heritage and an advocate for minority rights. He spent much of his off-season involved in charity work. His philanthropy was never for personal recognition. He simply loved to help people. Everybody knows about Clemente in Puerto Rico. You know, he was a huge sports idol there. He was a great human being because he used to help so many people around Latin America. Clemente was a strong advocate for chiropractic and loved to share his extensive knowledge of the field learned as a result of his own injury in 1954. Roberto Clemente had a very big accident. It was a car accident. He was with his brother at the time, and he developed very major back pain, constant back pain, chronic back pain that would not let him play sometimes. He used to have a lot of medicine um, going on in his life, and nothing worked with his low back pain until he met this chiropractor that changed his life completely. Well, when I was about eight years old, uh, my father came home from teaching at Logan, because he taught in the morning, he practiced in the afternoon and evening, and he was all smiles, and my father was saying, well, you never believe who came to the college today. And it was a baseball player from the Pittsburgh Pirates, a man by the name of Roberto Clemente. And he had been recommended to go to the, to the college by a person who had helped him somewhat recover from uh, a very bad automobile accident in Puerto Rico. This other gentleman told Clemente, why don't you stop by that chiropractor college in, uh, in St. Louis and see what they can do, because I think that's what, that's what you need. So that year, after uh, Clemente had been worked on at the, at the college by Dr. Logan and my father, Dale, Dr. Dale Montgomery, Clemente went on to continue to play, play very, very well, and uh, he'd be out there in the field, he'd every now and then move his neck around, and the uh, broadcasters would ask him uh, after the game uh, how he was doing. He says, if it wasn't for chiropractic, I wouldn't be playing now. Roberto Clemente died at the peak of his career in a plane crash on December 31st, 1972, while traveling to Nicaragua to deliver aid to earthquake victims. The year after his death, Clemente became the first player from Puerto Rico and the first Latin American inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame. There's a lot of things that have his name on it. There are, there are parks, like huge parks that are, that are called Roberto Clemente Park. There are coliseums with, with his name too. There is, there is a day that is the Roberto Clemente Day. There's a lot of countries that, that, that still have his his name in buildings, in statues too, you know. So he really fought to be the best and to do the best all the time to show everybody that he was not only the Puerto Rican kid, you know, that it, he was good at it, you know. We're very proud people and we like to always do the best that we can wherever we are. And, and that's something that we take from him. Roberto Clemente will be remembered not only as a great Puerto Rican baseball player, but one of the best to ever play the game and a true humanitarian.